West Bend to date is probably the most award-winning winery in the state of North Carolina. And that's due to the length of time that they were uh, producing wines. And right from the very, very beginning, they were you know, turning wines into these different competitions worldwide. I mean, this, this place is a gold mine for whoever was gonna come in and take this place over because we kept up with everything. We were the first, we had to maintain the first. Whatever other wineries were thinking about doing, we already had, we've already got it done. When we had our reserve wines, a lot of the wineries were following, like, what are they doing? What are they doing? What's the next thing that they have coming out with? Uh, but it is so turnkey right now. Our, our tanks are full of wine. Our barrels are aging well. Uh, we're maintaining the vines. We're you know, doing everything that can possibly be done for somebody just to pick up that thread and start all over again. We have every piece of equipment has been maintained. We have a new brewery that's only three years old and we have all these new barrels and we even have a concrete tank here which not many winers in the United States has these concrete tanks to actually ferment wine in to actually give more of a crisp minerally flavor uh, that is ready to hit the market and so hopefully that's, we've, we've, we've paved the way. Oh, you're just picking up where we left off. Vinifera grape is where the wine, the grape vines have been brought in from France and they've been classified out of UC Davis, out of California, before they can get shipped off anywhere into the United States. And so we have them Vitis vinifera varietals growing here in the Yadkin Valley of North Carolina. Chamberson grape uh, actually is one of our biggest workhorses that we have. Uh, it is a French clone that's been blended with an American clone as well. Not a muscadine, but just another American varietal. Uh, they could find upstate New York. Uh, it got blended with that and it can handle heavy rains, it can handle cold weather, it can handle any kind of disease pressure that you're not really getting any kind of disease affected the grapes. And we, that's one of the last wine, last grapes that we harvest because it can handle that kind of temperature and, and hurricanes. The breweries have really picked up. We wanted to have a brewery here at West Bend, follow the West Bend label that we can get it out into the uh, beer market and get West Bend to be known more, our sales increased quite a bit. Our demographics changed quite a bit from the, you know, the wine drinkers to now bringing out a lot more young people. Uh, so it's really turned it around with a lot of excitement. And uh, so we went and started the brewery just so then people would come. I mean, we have a wonderful patio out here. We have a whole front lawn. I mean, people thought this place was a park. Uh, what better than having a park full of beer and wine? We have the guy bottling line, uh, our own. It bottles 1,400 bottles per hour, which is about 120 cases per hour. Uh, it's what we needed because we were starting to get into that point where we had to either pick up production because we had so many other jobs that we had to tend to here that you can't spend a whole day bottling. You had to get it done in half a day and uh, move it along. Uh, we have numerous wine tanks here. We have a capacity of about 32,000 gallons of uh, wine in tanks as well as barrels. Uh, the barrels that we have are majority French oak barrel. A new stemmer crusher. Uh, we have a, a press that we always maintain with it has a new bladder in it uh, because it's stainless steel. Everything here is stainless steel, so nothing really gets old. It stays new forever, keeps its value forever. We have a new chiller. Uh, we put in a new chiller here to keep all of our tanks cool during fermentation. We have a reefer truck that chills down our beer. We have a hundred uh, beer kegs. We have half kegs and quarter kegs. We built a new barn for all of our empty bottle storage. The list goes on as far as all the things that we have that we have here to offer. I, I really felt for Lillian that it's time for us to sit back, enjoy the rest of our years, not that we're looking to die next tomorrow or the next year, but it's a matter of fact we really have to sit back and just start enjoying some of the, let's go travel, let's, let's, let's do some fun. Uh, so we're, now we're, we just want to sit back and just enjoy a little bit of life. No matter who's going to take this venture over at West Bend, you will always be the first. If you went and bought some other wineries around the corner that just closed the door, you're going to open it up, but you're not going to have the recognition that West Bend has. I mean, even if somebody buys it, keep the West Bend name because it has such power to it. Uh, because if you don't, you're going to lose that whole pioneer first winery in the state. We're hoping that somebody will come in here with this auction because there's going to be so much more media attention. There's going to be so much more uh, ways 
of getting this word out that there's an auction in the Yakima Valley of North Carolina to be able to get more people involved. I mean, this, this auction is being done online as well. You don't know who's going to be out there just from where, uh, being a part of uh, continuing this legacy that we have here. This place is a legend.